Hello, and here we are again, and we are continuing our classes about Gyo Son. Sensei Luis was just this last week talking to us about what is Gyo Son, the techniques of the, the, the fishermen, and uh, the ways they found to defend themselves. Uh, somehow this technique was included in, uh, in our Bugay style, style in our Bugay Ryu, and uh, well, this last week he gave us a very interesting uh, class about the anthropological and historical uh, means or what is the meaning of Gyoson and their techniques. Although they are very um, simple and uh, rude, if we can say, it is also very pleasing to see there are many jumps, there are many uh, complex um, uh, movements. And now we'll see some more movements in, in this case. We'll see some movements uh, that were developed uh, as we could say counterattacks or movements to interact with certain kind of projections found in Jujutsu. So, for now, for example, Sensei Luis will show us. I will try. I will enter a technique which is known as Seo Inage in the Kenai Google. So very slowly, what I'll do is I'll get him here and I will project him over me. And let's see now how uh, this technique is performed uh, in the Gyoson study. So, let's take a look closer to what just happened. They just showed us very slowly. Let's do it one more time. Just when I, when I got him here, he knows that the, the danger that is found in this technique, that, that, that we can see in this technique, is that in Jujutsu, at least in our school, what we attempt to do, what we try to do is to enter and not to grab and to, and to move him over me, not just the leverage, but also the impact of our hips, you know, just under his hips, under his hara, and this, this first impact is, um, is actually a major point of our technique, it's a key point of our technique, because it will not just uh, unbalance him, but also uh, make him, um, make his structures and his weight and will we'll take his weight upward too in just one movement. So by knowing that he allows the the in part or the lower part of his body to move freely as he grabs my eri, my kimono, my uagi in this case, and then continues uh, when he lands. So let's see one more time. From here he grabs and now from here he has already his, his twisted um, uh, gripping here. So now what he'll do is instead of keep uh, fighting here, keep trying here, what he, he'll do is he'll go to the ground suddenly and then uh, try, try to break my, my leg. Break him and finding his, uh, his choke at the same time. So my weight which is put against his arms, uh, actually makes this choke favorable to him. So let's see. This, is, this was a first example. Let's see now, for example, when I try to do a Yoko Otoshi, which means I will get his arm and use my weight fully downward, to, to throw him. So, very slowly, I will do one and fall down in normal speed. And now let's see his movement. So what we can see is he can 
find himself in a better position and uh, ready to keep his movements. It's quite interesting that these movements were, were done over sand. As fishermen, sand was a common uh, scenario for them and uh, this is the kind of technique which was not often uh, performed over hard ground but over sand, over soft sand. So uh, he could also, it was not uncommon to see more experienced people in this case since Luis can show us one more time when he lands and lands ready to strike with his leg and some other uh, people, some other practitioners, they try to do it uh, even as they are on the air, which means their legs are rising and they are getting ready to land with their, with their knees hitting over face and so on. We'll see an example, so Sam Luis will show us, as I will try to throw him, he will land ready to use his legs and his, and his foot movements. You can also see that still as a counter movement, as a counter attack to jujutsu forms, when I try to do the, well, known in the uh, Genbai Budo as Morotegari, in our school, Yo Ashotosh, which means to catch both his legs and take him down. And let's see how he can move using Gyoson techniques. So, see is when I try to take him down one more time using the call the so-called sutemi no iko or the forms in which I take my my body down uh, as a mean to to take him down or to throw him so what I'll do is I'll take him here and and here So what I was, what, what this, this technique of mine, what I was uh, aiming to do, what I was trying to do is to throw him like this and say, please go allow me to show, I would do this. But as he showed me in, in first place, what he will do to, to counter move, to counter attack is by using my weight in his own weight, And these are some of the examples of the, the Gyoson techniques uh, in which we have many, uh, we could say, flying movements or jumping movements. And there are still many others. They could use, they would use the, the roll, you know, in the boat. Otherwise, when they got to the, to the shores and they would have that, uh, that object as a common, a daily object and mode of daily usage and uh, bamboo and uh, uh, well some particular weapons which we can show in the next uh, tokubetsu no jujo in the next classes what was their thought behind that and how they would use in a very smart way what they had near them and what they had in their daily routine as weapons thank you very much